Yep, see you. I guess this is a good thing we're looking over these bars because we're about to be running a 50 foot applicator here. Sound? Yeah. I guess that's better than a 40 footer. tree and the problem is there's a couple more decent sized trees right on the edge there so I don't really know where I'm gonna push this tree but on a solid note we're still looking good there so it looks like that fixed it so I don't know now I just got to figure out what incarnation I am gonna do with this tree we'll try something here Don't judge me on my 963 running skills. I'm not the best on this track loader. Now, Traco, I think I can hold my own there, but but this is this is not my bread and butter here. Up, up, we're moving it. Yep, was moving it. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to break some limbs off. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna we're we're gonna put the camera down for this because the track the track loader is not my bread and butter, and uh, I'm still trying to figure out where the tar I'm gonna push this tree to. So. You, you, got, you guys can see when it's done. Well, we got it. Uh, kind of went with the old method of just breaking all the limbs up off high and then pushing all the limbs right there and then just tucking that tree up in there as far as I could. Um, but that's about all the tree pushing I'm gonna do for right now. Uh, it's still plenty heavy out here. So especially on this work ground, these corn stalks were all worked we ran a speed disc over them last fall so it's plenty heavy so i'm gonna run back into the shop and see what we got going on in there so in the last video you seen we hooked that 620 up to the anhydrous bar um it's just been sitting out here in the equipment shed so it's a nice enough day out i figured we could get it out pull it up there on the concrete and start looking it over and then i think we got enough room in the shop to where we can still get it pulled in tonight and we'll run this thing up there to get looked over there's a lot more to look over on this because this bar whoop, has these closing wheels kind of packs dirt in around 
around your furrow or whatever you want to call it like see this one it don't have it it's done falling off but uh basically the the bushings get wore out in there and it gets sloppy enough that they'll fall off sometimes so i think we got a couple of these laying around somewhere that we can throw on and it'll be good shape but yeah we got to check over all these wheels all of our knives take off the worn worn out ones like this one's getting pretty much junk you might as well replace that one stuff like that check over all the blades make sure that they are ready to roll across some acres when it actually i don't even know if i have enough room to get this all the way nosed up in here that would kind of stink if i'm halfway out the door Oh, we got this. Just curve it. We're in. Good enough. And we are back. We just had a little rain shower roll through here. But we're in here. Messing with this anhydrous bar. And so. Uh, back when we were hooking it up, I think I showed you guys this hitch and I was like, man, I don't like how it's more in there. So we went ahead through a different hitch in there. We just had this one laying around. Threw it in there. And uh, good thing I was, uh, I mean, messing with it at all because that one broke. And that one broke. So essentially we had one good bolt holding the whole deal together. So that would have been a bad deal. That would have been a real bad deal. And you know, it probably would have happened like going down the road or something cool like that. But I gotta find two bolts to throw them in there and then this hitch will be good as new. Uh, it looks like a fun one. Manure spreader is getting washed. That's nasty. Anyways, I am rolling out of the shop here because me and dad gotta go do a plumbing job on one of our houses. It's not very interesting, so I probably won't film it none. But uh, you, got, you guys can see what's going on again when I get back to the shop. I'll, I'll show that. But, uh, yeah. That's where all the magic happens. Anyways, you guys can check back in a couple hours. So, dad and me got the little whew, plumbing job done that we, we needed to get done there. So, we are rolling back to the shop. It took way longer than it should have. It was one of them like five minute jobs. It turns into like three hours later. But I'm rolling back into the shop here, so. We'll see what they got going on and how them uh, and hydrous bars are coming along. Hopefully they are they are about done with them suckers. Probably not, but hopefully. Looks like the old the old blue Pete just got a wash job. And the anhydrous bar is folded up now, so that's a positive. That's farther along. We'll see how this thing's going. See, we got 
checking wheel bearings and that stuff. Did Steve ever get back with them bolts? We don't know. We'll go check that. So we were checking over this bar. Uh, all the opener disc bearings are good. So about fell. Some of them need changed as you can see that one's really small. But they noticed in the climb down here, this spindle was pushed in, which it's pulled out now. It was pushed in. There was no basically imagine imagine this on this side. So this spindle was pushed in and these were rubbing on this bolt here. So that was not right. So we took it apart. Let me crab walk up here. All right, let's get up to the front of this rig. So here is the hub. And as you can see, it kind of junked the hub out from what we're wearing right here. Cause the seal does not want to fit in there and stay in there now. So that is, that is junk. We need a new, we need a new hub. Thank you.